Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, this is breaking news. Um, just got some do you know with the Milwaukee Bucks. So this is the WFSO report. Um, talking about Bucks. So the future of the Brewers and Bucks telecast. And so, and of course, you know, explains the part uh, scenarios and kind of mentioned this. Um, I think it was a previous video that I mentioned this a while back that you know, there's gonna be no. They're gonna cut the um relationship to the um. The Brewers and um, Diamond Sports, which is known here as Valley Sports, Wisconsin. So um, many what they're doing because of bankruptcy that um, Diamond Sports has um, filed. So, you know, they already cut some of the um, teams like baseball wise, but um, the Bucks is also showing on Valley Sports, Wisconsin as well. And we already knew like some of the effects that happened, which I'm um, showing some of the games on local TV. Which is, you know, it's pretty awesome too that they do that. But um, I guess you know this article from the Milwaukee Business Journal. They explained, you know, what happened, and that of course, you know, they went bankrupt, and you know, the subscribe, you know, like subscribers and stuff for Valley kind of went down, especially you know how prices and stuff for like these streaming goes up and up and up, and. They just never figure out the problems of it going down down like the um costs so yeah you know because it's a bad idea like putting like um sports and um streaming because you know some of the um streaming places like increased i kind of explained this with the um with the aew and warner brothers discovery deal that you know like, of course, you know, streaming is going to, like, still increase because having so-called more content, which some of them don't. And, um, it's just, you know, insane that, you know, some of these, um, streaming services is, like, charging, like, an arm and a leg. But I'm glad, you know, there are certain deals, like, um, you get, like, if you, like, a Walmart Plus, remember, um, a Walmart Plus member, you get, like, free, uh paramount plus and kind of same thing you do with um some cable channels i mean some cable networks like you'll get like discount for like say disney plus or something like that you get it for free or whatever the case may be so that's how you can get away with watching some of the streaming services but you know um you know they the mlb kind of started it last year but having like apple tv show like some um baseball games on fridays um which is, you know, it's still ridiculous because, but then again, Apple TV just don't cost that much. But then again, you got like a lot of streaming services that you have to pay an arm and a leg for. And plus, you know, a lot of people is cutting the cost down on cable as well because it's starting, you know, get ridiculous. Although, you know, at times, you know, some cable places or like satellite have like deals and stuff like that. But it's like only last for like so long. And it's just insane. So, um... Of course, you know, like some of the options, they'll probably will end up trying to like do it with local TV, like they did like later last season for the Bucks. Um, well, um, because this is like one of the scenarios that they was talking about so over the air. So, um, so it was explaining like the return to Brewers telecast on over the air television might provide a partial solution, but local television stations are unlikely to pay the Brewers and the Bucks fees on par of with um valley sports so if they just want to like do it on their own they probably would like want to like do that themselves so and what seems to have been a one-off bucks games during the later part of 23 24 nba season that aired on chicago based wingell broadcasting company milwaukee stations included cbs affiliated wdjt tv which was channel 58 which they had their um, sister station called WMLW, which if you live in Milwaukee, that'd be Channel 41. Um, and also, you know, um, Sinclair Blossomgrass Group, and as they mentioned, um, August of last year, they followed the idea of like major sports team airing some of their games on broadcast television. Like at back then, we used to have, you know, Bucks and Brewers game show on like channels like Channel 18 and Channel 24. Which, you know, they used to do before, you know, cable ended up, you know, buying the rights to it and start showing, like, most of, the, you know, all the games, might as well just say, they were showing on cable. Um, but, 
you know, maybe they'll probably go back to that again. And, you know, they want to do, you know, sports and stuff like that with um, 1824. You know, they got like showing like wrestling, um, also showing, you know, college, uh, not college, but like high school football. But they do show like college games as well. And might as well show, you know, some baseball game and basketball games as well. Just bring it back to that. And now I think today, I think more people will watch it more than they would, you know, with um, with cable. Because like I was saying, like people are, you know, not liking streaming and not liking, you know, cable. You know, but yeah, that's part of the thing that sucks. So this is the thing they was talking about when it came to... um streaming come on make it make it make it yep he's safe nice um yeah you know uh, streaming they're saying that maybe they can um work out diamond sports may work out with something um try to you know maybe they're thinking of maybe like do like a i think they were saying something like about a discount but i think it talks about more about it um i'll, I'll also say you know espn is prepared to unveil to direct to consumer product that will be using like the house you know MLB streaming so maybe that's something they can work with like with ESPN but let's see also sports business journal sources has said the NBA might take as many as 15 to 20 teams to a digital platform such as Amazon Roku or YouTube which I think that would be like a bad idea it's just like I was just explaining like nobody don't want to um do like streaming anymore because you know the cost is you know starting to get too much so okay this is the thing they was talking about about these sports like maybe you know Diamond Sports were may do an extension of his contract with like the Brewers and other MLB, MLB teams only if they agree to like 20 to 40 percent off discount in fees a network is paying so um I don't know if you know if teams will want to do that but if they want to if it comes for like desperate time for desperate managers they might go ahead and like do that but let's see oh okay so i didn't i didn't see that part so this is interesting butts games are set to run on valley sports wisconsin through the upcoming season so this coming season they will show it on valley sports mm, and maybe they'll probably do the same thing like with deciding on um you know show some games on local tv and where the case that may be so maybe they will probably will do with that idea then they just talk about a little bit of portland um with their um troubles with you know with them like with the broadcasting is showing um oh okay wait it explains more about it so portland trailblazers uh reach their agreement with um, Sinclair Broadcasting launched Rip City Television Network was over air TVs like stations in the Pacific Northwest. Um, kind of like the same thing, you know, with um, Valley Sports, but I guess they're doing something with other companies. Laser Vision. So, hey, that's something. Um, so maybe, you know, maybe other places like, you know, um, Milwaukee will, the Bucks or Brewers will take a page off of trying to do that, but like but like I said, like I didn't read this part, but I just didn't know that they are gonna run Bucks games on Valley Sports Wisconsin this season. So that's you know that's good news. So um, what are y'all? Sorry about that. Uh huh. What do y'all think about this? You know, like should they try to you know settle something for like not this coming season but next season? Because I know the Brewers, you know, they are gonna have to do something. Since they're no longer longer going to show them on, you know, Bally, unless they work out an agreement or something like that. So y'all comment below and let me know y'all thoughts about this. But um, if you're interested in the more news about you know um, Milwaukee Bucks content and also with um, talk about wrestling and developments in Milwaukee and comic book movies and TV news, you would like this channel. So please subscribe and thank you for the subscribers that are new. And welcome and also with the ones that been loyal to us for like a while now uh thank you for watching um and don't forget to uh, check out our website wrestlingfanspeakout.weebly.com um it has more information about you no know, upcoming events and wrestling also um 
it'll talk about the October 15th event that uh, we're sponsoring. So that information will be on the um, sponsors page. And also um, more information about our sponsor, the Toy Dimension. So you get a chance to uh, check them out. They do have a Facebook page as well. And plus they're in the um, Milwaukee area. So you get a chance, like more information is on the website. So please check it out. So until the next video, y'all have a good one.